Well, it's a beautiful day today, Friday. I stopped by the uh, thrift, I mean not thrift store, what do you call it, the uh, fabric store yesterday and uh, dropped off those two pair of scissors and they gave me another pair of fist cars. It says store use. I just got things sharpening in them. And Wendy's called me. They got an onion slicer. Well, I presume it's a food slicer. But they wanted me to sharpen the blades for it. They look like they're... I sharpened them already. I wish I just took a picture before. I may have one on my phone. But they were in bad shape. All burred up. Blunt to blunt places on them. Onion slicer. I don't know what kind of slicer to go in. I'm hope they show me when I go back. I'm curious to, just to what how it works. But they're sharp now. And then I got a call a minute ago. The guy said, I'm going to bring you some serrated knives to sharpen. I said, man, they got a whole box, he said. i never seen a person with that many serrated knives, so I figured he meant saw-bladed knives. And of course he did. You know, them inexpensive Chinese babies. But I got a gathering of them. I don't know how many's in there. There's one, five, six big ones. Nine little ones. So 15. <laughs> I guess I won't go spinning today. Tide's bad anyway. Tide's early in the morning, like 7 o'clock. I'm going to the knife gig tomorrow at the farmer's market for the first time since the weather was bad, you know. We'll see how that goes. I'll get back to you. Good luck to everybody. Today I picked up this. It's actually four foot by six foot. I cut it in half. I got it at Tractor Supply. It's a horse stall mat. So your horse, is, horse has something to stand on soft. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's kind of rubbery. My buddy in South Dakota, that's what he uses at the gun shows and all. When he sharpens a knife, he stands on this for four or five hours. So I got that for that big gun show coming up next week. So I can stand on this instead of that hard concrete floor. So I got two sharpeners, so I figured I got two things to stand on. So I cut the four foot piece in half. Okay, now I'm getting ready to put my stuff in for tomorrow. See you later. Well, I'm headed to the knife gig Saturday morning. You can see it's raining. Not too hard, though. May increase this afternoon, they claim. Trish, when I get ready to leave the knife gig. I've got uh, most of my stuff right here. I got some of it back there. I'm headed to uh, Chesapeake now to pick up some knives from a, a lady. And then I'm going to go to the market and sharpen her knives and see if I get any business today. This is the first time I've been to this Virginia Beach Farmer's Market in quite some time since the weather. I went once in January and that was it. Yeah, it's going to be 61 today, but like I said, it's supposed to rain and blow. I don't know about blow so much, but just a lot of rain later. We'll see how that goes. Stand by. Well, I just picked up the stuff from that lady. I got one set of pruners and two pair of scissors for her friend. One's just straight scissors, the other pinky shears. And her knives are in this box. She says it's a set of cut codes. We'll see how it goes. Well, I'm set up at the market. Rain has ceased for the moment. And as you can see, I'm not alone today. I didn't know there was going to be a gathering of people here. But there is. Everywhere I look, there's vendors. Music. Look at Bob's. I don't know what's all here. I have to spin through here in a minute, take a look, see what's all here. 
the milk ladies here. Look at this chicken out right here. Sea surveyor, survivor. I don't know what's in there. There's a new guy out there selling barbecue, barbalicious, barber some damn thing. Thirsty frogs got something over there. Great, googa mooga. The butcher guy just brought me this thing right here. He wants me to cut it sharp and it's got some kind of sort like that onion cutter I did the other day. Double edge blade. Pretty cool. Okay. First thing we gotta do is uh, clean up these damn pruners and these old rusty looking uh, what do you call them? Uh, they're not scissors, they're uh, I can't think of the name of them, but you know what they are. But they're rusty as crap and dirty. Okay, stand by. Well, I just got my first knife. It's a Hanko, but it's got some major chips in the blade right there, you see them? Like it's cutting nails with it or something. And we get her shaped up. You remember that box, right? Pardon me? No, I'm talking to my thing here. Oh, okay. <laughs> the box is full of cut codes. Serrated cut codes. Birds, beaks, pears, and a big butcher. Cut codes. I just came around and said we're going to have a major storm. Getting ready to hit us now. So I just pulled the, uh, this curtain across where I am. Then I stole a chair and pushed it up against the wall there. Well, the storm cleaned a lot of them out. gonna clean me out in a couple minutes. It's uh, 256. Damn the bad luck. I think I'm gonna take off in about 10 minutes myself. As soon as they leave I'm gonna back my rice burner right in here and load her up. Stand by. There's my tail of the tape today. But ten knives. Eleven. Ontario? Yes, sir. Ontario. Rat three. Yes, sir. Pretty cool knife. Yeah, they're uh, not cheap. They're not. What do they cost? Three, two, or three hundred? Uh, about a hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. Well, I just got the rice burner unloaded. It's empty. I can't say enough about that mat. That is a nice thing, that mat is. My buddy's wagging his tail when I get home. Look, he's got his balls right in front of him. He says, come on, come on. <laughs> Uh-oh. Carnivore. One big carnivore. Fat man dude. He says, it's summertime for me too. Oh, there's another carnivore coming around the corner. Where's the other carnivore? Oh, there she is. Where's my supper at? Everybody's starving to death. All the... Mmm. Come here. You gonna let me pet you today? Ooh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Be a nice little kitty cat. Uh-oh. He says later.